Well, I've been in the trade for three and a half years, and you know things were were pretty rough on the on the non-union side, on the and it, they just didn't seem to get any better. So I uh, I just really was looking for something better. I wanted to do something different because my current job had reached a dead end. We were getting no more raises. I hadn't gotten a current raise in four years. And I just felt I was at the top of any climb and there definitely was no future there. I could see myself getting phased out as I got older also. Well, I feel like I made the right decision by organizing. Uh, things are working out very well. And I wished I would have explored this option a lot sooner. Uh, had I done that, I think I would have been uh, organized a long time ago. I've been in the electrical trade for four years and eight months. A um, few of the things that brought me to the union were uh, retirement, um, better money, uh, health insurance, a lot better health insurance. Well, I'd been told that the unions, you really didn't have a voice, uh, that uh, your representatives told you what to do, uh, a lot of layoffs and, you know, people were laid off for long periods of time. And I've found that, you know, there are layoffs, but it's not, that's not anything like the, I was told on the other side, so. Typically people say it's hard to get into the union if, if you did not start out as an apprentice in the union. I found that not to be true. Um, there was a few steps to go through, a few tests to take, but you know it, was, it wasn't too hard and it didn't take very much of my time. When I talk to people um, about the union, about the IBEW, uh, I usually I got two different answers. I got the, uh, the unrepresented side and then I got the facts. And the unrepresented side, I mean, it, it made people sound like they went home and ate their children for dinner. I mean, they were just terrible and mean and, you know, and when I met some of the union guys, they were just great. I've always been told that the dues in a union are incredibly high and they make it hard for you to earn a good living, but all that's not true. Well, the union dues, I think, uh, they're necessary. Um, you don't miss them whatsoever, and with the pay scale now, it's you're still making a lot more than you are, you know, at an unorganized or non-organized shop. Um, and I don't have any problem paying the dues. I was really concerned about the dues at first when, when I was told about them. You know, but when I was uh, on the non-union side, I was paying almost $200 a month for insurance for my family and myself out of my own pocket. And that not, didn't include the dental or vision, which was extra. And now all my insurance for my family is covered. And what I see coming out of my check is so minimal, it's, it's, it's negligible. I was a little apprehensive to join in the union because of being outside of the union for so long. But the camaraderie between all the guys was so good and they make you feel warm and like, you know, you belong. Well, coming in as a formerly un un unorganized uh, electrician, I didn't know what to expect from the, uh, the uh, members that have been in for a while, but uh, it truly is a brotherhood. And I was uh, welcomed with open arms when I came in and I really appreciate it. With the extra money that I'm making in the union, it's, uh, you know, it gives me a lot more cushion to do things that I wasn't able to do before. Save money and just have extra money to do stuff. Now in six months, I'm making what it took me two years to make. So I'm, I'm ecstatic. I have a family. I have two kids and a wife. Uh, the benefit package here is, is reassuring to help you, you know, you don't have to worry about health care and all those expenses. Um, it's real nice knowing that all that's taken care of. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, where your premium is going to come up with every month, that you have health insurance, and that that's going to be paid and that's guaranteed. The benefits uh, was a, played a big part in the decision. I had only, I was only able to afford uh, coverage or health coverage for myself 
with the previous employer and I was always worried that one of the kids, you know, would get hurt and then it would be more expensive. And now, you know, I, I don't have to worry as much because I know that the coverage is there now and it's not, you know, costing me any more than, than it was by myself. When I f f was talking to the organizers, uh, they informed me about the, you know, the money going towards uh, retirement. And when I was in the non-union, you had to put your own money in. And uh, the company that I had been working for at the time had been telling me for two and a half years that they were going to match. And they kept telling us that about every six months, and it never happened. So it's nice to know that it's there without me having to do it all by myself. I would say anyone considering joining the union should come down to an open house. Uh, any question you could have will be answered. Um, they have all the wages, all the benefits, you know, all the training. Everything's printed on paper, written down, so you know what it is you're going to make, what it is your benefits are going to be, and what kind of training you could take. But I tell them to, you know, look at the IBW with an open mind. Uh, forget everything that they've heard and just check it out for themselves. I know it's a uh, kind of a scary thing, a scary step to make, but um, they'll find that it uh, works out in the long run. It's a, a good step. Uh, the prospects of the, the being in the IBW uh, and particularly uh, voiced out of video, um, I think there's an unlimited future. I mean, sky's the limit. Um, like, like I was saying earlier, I, I think that, you know, uh, the, the the, every day we're getting more technologically advanced and I mean there's just a need for it you know there's always a need for electricians uh, everybody needs light everybody needs power but now everybody needs media uh, computers internet uh, pretty soon um, you know everything's gonna be coming over uh, uh, telephone lines and you know and, and cable lines and I, I think it's just the way of the future if someone was thinking about IBW, I'd tell them, go for it, you know. I mean, you're going from job to job anyway. What is it going to hurt to try this? And you're not going to regret it. The money's better. The health care's better. It's cheaper. Uh, retirement's awesome. Uh, everything about it is good. I've talked to friends of mine about that are electricians right now that are unorganized uh, about coming over to the IBW. And I try to give them the facts again, you know, not the, not the hobgoblins and ghosts and fairy tale crap that we were always told is unorganized. And I would just tell them that if you want to make this your career, then, then get the education and go where the money's at.